Firstly, British scientist John Dalton explained in 1803 that the fundamental particle of all substances is atom, which is indivisible. According to him, when we break again and again a substance, we will reach the state of the substance after which it cannot be broken. But in 1897, scientist J. J. Thomson discovered that cathode ray, which he named corpuscles, which we today know as electron. Thus. Scientists found that atoms could be divided. Similarly, scientists also discovered other particles inside the atom, such as protons, neutrons, and quarks, etc. And they tried to find out how the fundamental particles of atom are arranged inside the atom. So, I'm Learn Robo, and welcome to my channel Learn New, where you can learn something new daily. In today's video, we will try to find out how the atom was discovered. and how it is structured inside and learn about the principle on it so let's start to this video the basic idea that matter is made of tiny individual particles is very old appearing in many ancient cultures such as greece and india this ancient idea was based on philosophical reasoning rather than scientific reasoning and modern atomic theory is not based on these old concepts The word atom is derived from the Greek word atomos which means uncuttable Dalton's model after long time in 1803 the british scientists gave the atomic theory which is called atomic theory of dalton according to this theory all substances is made by very tiny and individual particle atom the atom of different element is different in mass and size and atom of same element are identical discovery of the electron and thomson model after the dalton in 1897 scientist j j thomson discovered the cathode ray which is made of particles that are 1800 times lighter than hydrogen thomson concluded that these particles came from the atoms within the cathode they were subatomic particles he called these new particles corpuscles but they were later renamed electrons Thomson also showed that electrons were identical for every chooses elements. In 1904, he put forward his model of the atom based on his findings, dubbed the plum pudding model. It envisaged the atom as a sphere of positive charge with electrons dotted throughout like plums in a pudding. Rutherford model Ernest Rutherford and his colleagues Hans Giger and Ernest Maddelson came to have doubts about the Thomson model when they tried to build an instrument to measure the charge to mass ratio of alpha particles. The alpha particles were being scattered by the air in the deflection chamber which made the measurements unreliable. According to Thomson model of the atom, the positive charge in the atom is not concentrated between 1908 and 1913 Rutherford and his colleagues performed a series of experiment in which they bombarded thin foils of metal with alpha particles they spotted alpha particles being deflected by angles greater than 90 degree to explain this Rutherford proposed that the positive charge on the atom is not distributed throughout the atom's volume as Thomson believed but is concentrated in tiny nucleus at the center only such an intense concentration of charge could produce an electric field strong enough to deflect the alpha particles as observed bohr's model in 1913 the physicist niels bohr proposed a model in which the electrons of an atom were assumed to orbit the nucleus but could only do so in finite set of orbits and could jump between these orbits only in discrete changes of energy corresponding to absorption or radiation of a photon this quantization was used to explain why the electrons orbits are stable and why elements absorb and emit electromagnetic radiation in discrete spectra the bohr model of the atom was the first complete physical model of the atom it described the overall structure of the atom how atoms bond to each other and predicted the spectral lines of hydrogen the schrodinger model schrodinger equation a mathematical model of the atom that described the electrons as three dimensional wave forms rather than point particles 
A consequence of using wave forms to describe particles is that it is mathematically impossible to obtain precise value for both the position and momentum of a particle at a given point in time. This became known as the uncertainty principle formulated by Warner Heisenberg in 1927. This model was able to explain observation of atomic behavior that previous models could not. Discovery of the neutron awaited the discovery of the neutron an uncharged particle with a mass similar to proton by the physicist James Chadwick in 1932 in the 1950 the development of improved particle accelerator and particle detector allowed scientists to study the impacts of atoms moving at high energies neutrons and protons were found to be hadrons are composites of a smaller particles called quarks the standard model of particle physics was developed that so far has successfully explained the properties of the nucleus in terms of these subatomic particles and the forces that govern their interaction